Okay, if you have 98, 99, 2000, 2001, two, I believe, I'm not sure. Um, you have these stupid tiny little mirrors that you cannot see out of. Mounted on little pedestals that, well, here. That happens. So I installed these from a 2010. Much bigger breakaway mirrors. And I'll walk you through just a little bit of it. That's who um, neighbors cut the grass and dogs and kids and everything and whatnot. So, okay, you have all this inside here. You're going to need the mirror from the junkyard, the outer piece to the mirror there and then the inner piece that goes here that mounts the door frame also the little cap that is behind that that holds it in place otherwise you can cut yours but you would only have one bolt that holds it in you're gonna need a t10 which is right here a t20 a t25 this is VM10 triple square. And this right here is to remove the mirrors from the door hinges on the inside. You're going to need a extension with a 13 millimeter and a couple of T20 and T15 screwdriver bits. Um, some of the years had it, that bolt back there as a T15. My other side did. This side over here is a Phillips screw, and a couple of the junker were also Phillips, so it's probably a good idea to have a Phillips as well. So, you have your center piece here. Push it up, unlock it. You'll have two T20s up there. You remove those, and then this picks up, slides, and pulls over. There's two tabs. I go inside there. You're going to grab your weather stripping and pull it down to get it past this. Grab your mirror or your pillar, pull out. You have these little clips, and then you're going to slide up. There's two tabs at the bottom that go down in. Then you're going to unhook your speaker. I'll let that speaker plug in. So then you'll see back here you have two 13 millimeters and the T20s. Those three T20s is what holds the bracket in um, to hold the place, it holds this piece to the car. Otherwise, you can use your stock one, but you have to cut it because these mirrors mount higher than that side. So you just have to fabricate it. If you're getting the mirrors and everything from the junkyard, you're going to get the mirror, that outer bracket, the inside bracket for right there, and you, the wiring already comes through. It goes in, it looks like this. It's connected to the mirror. All the pins are here. It does plug in. It's plug and play. But these outer two, of course it doesn't focus. The orange one and then my finger is touching and the black and white one. Those two are for the blinker that is in the outside of the mirror. Um, if you don't hook that up, you'll have to run another wire from inside here through your door. And then you will remove this cover. Mine is probably bolted. Yes, mine's bolted down. Um, Actually, mine is not. Okay, so it has a bunch of T20s all the way around it, but the air filter and stuff's in there, and the transmission control module, which I should probably clean that up. It's disgusting. Okay, so then if you look,
happens though. Harness filter. Yep, and they're starting to weed weed again. Okay, there's a clip here. Push that. There's one on the other side. Push it. And it removes the top cover. And then you can get the whole filter out. So then if you look inside here, there's a wire right here. Focus. This wire is the marker light for the outside. So that's the wire that you'll tap into. It's a little reverse down there. Okay, so first you're going to come out here. You're gonna pull this down, this weather stripping right here. And out from there. And then you have another weather stripping right here. Grab a screwdriver. Stick it between the metal and that. And just pry it until it starts to come out. And you can pull it, but it's really tight. Okay. Behind that, you will have a Phillips screw and another Phillips screw. That's a mounting bracket behind this that the mirror attaches to. So. You'll take the Phillips screw, and remove this screw, there, somewhere, there it is, and then you will find the tip that I dropped to come over here and remove the other two screws that are inside the mirror. <laughs> and of course, like everything else in the world, when you drop it, it disappears. Oh. Totally have no idea where it went. Okay, we're going to chalk that up as a loss. And grab another one. Found it. Okay. So make sure if you're using the drill to actually lock it in. Okay. Now you're going to come out here. And two screws you have in here you're going to remove it's a little bit harder with one hand focus and this one okay To grab your 13, come inside, and remove these two hinges.
force. It's tight because it's holding the door. Yeah, to take. Removes the whole outside um, pins and my uh, awesome. Yeah, I dropped the nut. I think down in my where am I? Around? It's closed. Okay, so. Now that you have that off like that, you're going to grab your 13 again, stick it back onto your socket. You're gonna grab your triple square, slide it into your 13. You're gonna then see that cover. Come over here. You're going to close your door a little bit, wiggle it, so get the hinge to come off, and now you have access to these two, so I'm going to sit you down and remove these two. Okay, once you remove this, the whole mirror comes off. You have that Phillips screw there. There's a sliding tab and apparently I didn't get that oh, all the way out. So. Oh no, mine snapped off in there. Okay. Then you have this rubber gasket. You pull it out, you don't break it like I just did. Just keep the wind in, the wind noise out. Mine broke because it got stuck on this. Keep that gasket. So then now, your mirror and everything is off, except for this and this bracket. If you keep this bracket, you have to cut it right here because the new mirror covers this. So if you're at the junkyard, remove this. It's just those three screws. So, go inside. Because I did not get the junkyard one. Did not even think about it. I actually need to even pull this out to see about how to even do the swap. I just kind of do it myself. Okay. So there's a third one that's down here. You're going to remove that one. A little easier said than done if you're uh, right-handed. You're using your left. Okay. So yeah, there's three bolts. This piece comes off. See? You have to remove it from right here. So I just grabbed pair of pliers right here and break it off. I'll pause it and show you. Okay, let's do this. 
So then you can reattach it like that. Now you have to do the unthinkable and remove the door panel. So you're going to need Phillips and a T20. So you're going to pop your cover off right here. Inside there are your Phillips. Then, underneath, there are one right there. I can't see if I'm showing it. Okay, yeah, one right there, one in the center, and one on the end. So you're going to remove those. Bring you right back. Okay, once you remove the three at the bottom and the two here, you're just going to grab the door panel and pull out and up. simple this is the plug for the mirrors so I'm plug it pull it from right here like that Come up here grab it feed it through here So you can pull it up through here. Now the other side, I just cut the wires because then you can feed them up. Um, through the plug, it's a little bit easier that way. But I don't want to cut this one because. Somebody needs this mirror, and I will be the one installing it. So, just like that. So now, grab. Let me messy. Come on. You're gonna get your mirror. And we're going to remove this cap. There's a cap that actually goes on here. I already removed it. But you're going to remove this. That is a T10. One of the smallest, stupidest things. I think it's the only one on the car. your cap off and then you have just the bare mirror and the wiring so so wiggle back out of the car and take not this part but and take this part and mount it back to the car with your triple squares. Okay, make sure you get them tight. Advice is just to use no extension and then your ratchet will be resting in here instead of on your pillar scratching it up because it's kind of a hard angle. You should in theory remove that lock and that bolt down there for the center latch or whatever that thing is. So now you have all that now you're going to install this into that hole 
I'm gonna need some hands because you gotta pick your door up, so I'll be right back. Okay, once you get that aligned and put up there. Okay, so the triple squares there are the door hinges. That adjusts your door hinges. So just kind of look at your markings, your paint scratches to get that back to the way it is. Otherwise, your door's gonna have a gap. It's gonna be a pain in the ass getting into this. So I remember I kind of threw one of my nuts down there somewhere. But um, now you're gonna tighten this up, but you're only gonna get snug because you do have to pick up on the door. You can see how the hinge is off. That's how much my door is dropped right now. So you have to pick it up, hold it up into the right spot, close the door, and then tighten it up. So give me a second and I'll uh, be back. Okay, they were both on. It actually dropped down into the bottom motor. It's a little bit harder to get out. So, if you're going to be wiring this blinker into your marker light, um, wait to the end. Just leave that cover on right there so nothing falls down inside because that was literally a pain in the butt. Of course it doesn't focus. What is a $1,600 phone good for? Can't even take a video. Okay, so that's attached. Now, remember the piece that goes on here that you have to cut. That can be put back on right now. Um, just not quite sure what to do with it. You don't need this piece. Just throw it down there with the other mirrors. Well, the end that I cut off is there. <coughs> Allergies and all these people are cutting their grass. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna pause that. I gotta find that piece. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I can't find it at the moment. So, you're gonna take your clip, push it through this hole right here, and just fish down. It's not too hard. It comes out here. Very easy. Come back up here. Fish more down into the hole. So it's like that. Then you're gonna come and pull your wire. Now, remember, the other two wires are not made for this furnace. So when you plug it in, it'll plug in. So you're going to these outer two right here. Those two wires, it's brown and black with a white stripe. Those two, you can snip right here. Because as you see, that side of the harness does not have the adapter. Um, now I do have the adapter for it. I got it from the car, but it's still not the whole door adapter. Why not? It's just a female piece. So just leave those two wires out and you can run them. I'm not really too worried about it at the moment. So once you have all that through, you're gonna grab your little grommet again, slide it over your wire and press it inside the hole. This keeps that wind noise like it really matters because I'm missing my two from there from changing window regulators and motors and whatnot. So that's everything that you need to do inside here. Um, so now you can put the door panel back on, which are the two Phillips screws and three 20 millimeters. Um, I'm gonna put that back on and then I'll come right back. Okay, so it's 90 degrees out here. My phone overheated. Um, so then you got this cover to put on. It literally just slides in, locks in, has the screws. Then you take the little rubber piece, Bend it 
and slide it into the hole and push it back inside and do the same with your bracket or not your bracket but this rubber piece the felt and get it to go behind this piece right here now I gotta find that bracket and I'll be right back okay here's the video or the cap so you're gonna put this back right there now if you have the original piece you're not going to because it I believe it's flat right here but you're still going to use those two bolts because there is a clip right here that holds that and then you're going to come inside and take two <laughs> And I'm going to put them back as an ant to the hole, top one. Apparently, I didn't learn my lesson about covering that because I still have a bit that on you're going to <clears throat> install this piece now it's got one screw right there but <clears throat> you're going to take it and if you see right here that's the little clip it's like a slider it slides into this so Let this piece in to the mirror. Apparently my hand stopped it. It's kind of hard to hold this phone, do everything with one hand, especially since I'm right-handed. So you're gonna slide this behind the mirror like that. you're gonna have a gap so then you're gonna push in and slide it towards the front of the car and that's when it goes in, but well, make sure your pieces are all in here. There it was. My mirror was just open. Okay, so open your door. You have that screw there. So you're going to take. Put the screw in right there. And I have it right here. It's a Phillips.
in there. I'm going to still leave that down. So then check make sure your door closes. And it's installed. I know. I'm going to clean this off before I install it, because that's disgusting. We'll just go buy another one. So then after you do that, just reverse, put your cover back down in, if you removed it. Take your speaker, it literally snaps on top. There's the two screws in the back. And then your pillar goes in at an angle. Down here, there's a slit. That's it, right here. That's where the slits in those go. And then just smashes back on and pops in. Then you just put all your trim back in and there you have it.